Welcome all. Today we are going to deal with two good problems from the pre-score test and they both are related to the impulse. The first one is related to the frictional impulse. So it is very important topic and let us see how the problem is. It is there is a hemispherical body of mass 2m and is placed on a rough horizontal surface with coefficient of friction mu. A ball A of mass m moving with velocity this much at an angle theta 37 degree from the horizontal collides with the body B at point P. You can see over here, the body of mass M moves and collides with the hemisphere and the coefficient of restitution is 0.6 as shown. There is no friction between the ball A and the body. So here there is no friction. So you have to find the velocity of hemispherical body B just after the collision. The options are given. So let us see how to deal with problem. This is the situation. So initially the ball, let us say it is moving with velocity V0. V0 is the velocity with which it is moving before collision. So let us write it V0. Now, as it comes and collides over here, you see this is the radius. That means this angle will be 90 degree. And if this is 90 degree, the force and there is no friction over here. That means the body will feel only the normal force and normal force means its velocity will be normal to the surface. So let us say the velocity after the collision of the ball is V1. And after the collision, let us say this hemisphere has started moving with velocity capital V. So now you can very easily apply the, we have been given the coefficient of restitution is 0.6. So coefficient of restitution formula, you know what is it? V separation is E times V approach and here if you see what is V approach, V approach is nothing but V naught because this is the velocity with which it was approaching and V separation will be what? V separation means after the collision with what velocity they are separating. So here you see if horizontal velocity is V that means along this direction that is if this is 37 degree as given in the question, that means the velocity component in this direction, radial direction is what? It will be V cos 37, which is V 4 by 5, okay? So velocity of separation is what? This plus this. That means we can write velocity of separation is 4 V by 5 plus V1. And if you write it over here with 0.6, you get what? V sep is equal to, that means, let us write it clearly. 4v by 5 plus v1 is 0.6 times v0. Let us call this equation 1. Okay. Now, what next? Now, we will take care of the forces. You see what is happening over here. This body, this body, it was initially coming with velocity v0 and got returned with velocity v1. That means some force has acted on it to change the momentum. What is that force? Let us call that force F. F is what? dp upon dt. dp is what? Change in momentum. Change in momentum is what? Earlier it was v1 in this direction, v0, later v1. That means change in momentum is what? m v0 plus v1 as the directions are opposite. Okay. And let us say that the collision occurred in a very small interval of time dt. Okay. So this is the force which has acted on the ball. So here let us draw it. This is the force. That means by Newton's third law, equal and opposite force must have acted on the hemisphere. Isn't it? Now draw the force diagram. Let us say the force diagram is this. This is the force F, which we have already mentioned over here. Let us call it A. So this is the force which acts on the hemisphere for a very short interval dt. That's why we are calling it impulse. So this will have what? Two components. One horizontal if this angle is 37 degree then this will be also and it will be what f cos 37 degree that is 4 f by 5 and what will be the vertical component it will be 3 f by 5 okay now you see if you balance the force in the vertical direction let us say the ground is applying force n on the hemisphere and what is the total vertical force obviously its own weight that is 2mg plus this force. So we can write 2mg 
plus this force is L. Vertical equilibrium says what? N is 2mg plus 3f by 5. Now you note one thing that we are doing all this analysis within the short interval of time dt in which the collision has taken place. Okay. So here you see what? N is equal to 2mg plus 3f by 5. Now note one thing. What is f? f is m v0 plus v1 upon dt. All the numerator values are finite values. But dt, dt is very small. That means dt is tending towards 0. That means what is f? f will be very high. So if f is very high, we can assume f is much much greater than 2mg. And if you can assume this, then here you can neglect 2mg with respect to 3f by 5 and you can take n is 3f by 5 okay now you see with this assumption the problem becomes very simple because here you see this force is trying to push the hemisphere in this direction and which force will try to oppose the friction force f which is mu n so what is the acceleration in this direction if we write acceleration will be f equal to ma that means what 4f upon 5 minus mu n is what 3f by 5 3f by 5 this is what this is 2m times a now a is what a is change in velocity upon change in time that is a is dv upon dt and dv is what dv is change in velocity that means final velocity minus initial velocity. Initial velocity was 0 and final velocity is v. So what we can write, this is nothing but v upon dt. This is a. So if you put over here, then what you get, let us consider it in the next. So what you get 4f upon 5, 4f upon 5 minus mu times 3f upon 5 is what is 2m a is what v upon dt so if you bring dt over here then you get 4 upon 5 or you can just write it 4 upon f minus 3 mu upon 5 times f dt is what it is 2mv okay f dt you can see f dt value we have already have what f dt if you take f dt from here you get m times v naught plus v1 isn't it so m times v naught plus v1 you get you get what times 4 minus 3 mu 4 minus 3 mu upon 5 is 2 mv so if you do all the cancellations and all and put the values you will get v naught plus v1 is nothing but 4v okay so this is equation 2 and in the previous slide we have got this is equation 1 you see v v1 and v0 are related so if you solve it and put the values then very easily you get that v is the final velocity v is nothing but 5 meter per second so the hemisphere starts moving with velocity 5 meter per second immediately after the collision so this v is 5 meter per second okay so similarly the next problem let us see it is also related to impulse but now there are strings involved the question says there are three particles of equal mass and are placed on a smooth horizontal plane a is joined to b and c by light threads a b a c and the angle b a c is 60 degree an impulse i is applied to a in the direction the angle made by the initial velocity vector of a with b a is what it is given you have to find n so let us assume that how the situation looks like in the next figure suppose this is the situation okay now impulse i is given to this like this one this is the impulse i this is ball a this is b and this is c all have equal masses and note one thing these are the separate strings don't take it as a common string otherwise you may take tension t in both and you may get lost in that so these are separate strings and deal with them separately. So because of this impulse, some both the strings will become tight. Let us say some tension develops T, T1 and T2. Let us assume. Now 
so from the direction of tension you can very easily say that the velocity of a will have two components let us say x in this direction vx and some direction because of this t2 some will vy will come in this direction vy that means the resultant velocity of a just after the impulse will be something like this v okay we have to actually find this angle theta as per the demand of the question now you see this velocity is vx so you can be sure that this ball this will also be having velocity vx only because the length between a and b is fixed so it can't have any other velocity otherwise the string either the string will become loose or the string will break so this b will be having velocity vx only in this direction similarly velocity of c can be in this direction only along the string there can't be it can't go anything in other like this like this it must come along the string only so another condition you get that velocity of c must be same as the component of the velocity in this direction along the ca so what is this component in this direction you see vx if this angle is 60 degree then this is also 60 degree so this velocity is what vx by 2 minus you see vy vy cos 30 degree that is vy root 3 by 2 this is the velocity of ball a along ca and this must equal vc isn't it so as the string length between c and a remains constant so this is a very important thing we got now you write it so what you get let us call this equation one other thing you note that the impulse i is given in x direction that means for, let us call this direction y in y direction there can't be any momentum after the impact so we can say the momentum i mean because of this component momentum and because of this they must equally they are should be equal and opposite and the momentum should cancel out so what you can write you can write m that is for c m v c cos 30 degree that is root 3 by 2 should be m v y and if you cancel out then what you get this is like v c is what v c is 2 v y by root 3 and you take it from here that is what v x by 2 minus v y root 3 by 2 so you see in this you are very easily getting the relation between v x and v y so you can easily find out the tan theta so if you solve it tan theta is what v y upon v x and it comes if you solve it comes root 3 upon 7 so the n what is the need of the question is 7 that is the answer so i hope that you got the concept and if you have any doubts any queries please feel free to ask thank you